Hello, class. Hi, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Pretty good? Very good. Yeah? Okay, I'm glad to hear that. What about the rest of you? How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Olga. I, I'm going to traffic. You're in the parking right now? Yes. Okay, all right. Well, thank you. Any, thank you for connecting me, even if you are driving. I really appreciate that. Teacher, good evening. Good evening. Um, I have a problem. I'm going to take the bus right now and I just have 10%. I have a low battery in my cell phone. Um, maybe I, um, I hope to arrive to my home at least for the last minute for the class or maybe for the last hour. Okay, well, um, can you stay connected while, uh, while you get home? Like maybe, um, you know, let's try. Uh, I hope to be at home at least 845. Okay, okay. But mm -hmm. you can stay connected um, while, yes. while you're going in, in, you know, and you can, I don't know if you have like headphones, like earphones. Yes, yes. I have it, but uh, the problem that I have 10% of the battery, but I will be here just listening to the class. And when I go arrive to my home, I will charge myself and I don't know how can I say that. And I will be there. Uh, I told you because I, uh, um, por si se me apaga el teléfono. Oh, okay, sí, bye. Uh -huh. de Ajá, pero mientras, mientras que no se le acaba, can, sí. you can continue. Yes. I will be here. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, excellent, excellent. Thank you. Okay, yeah, no, thank you. Okay, all right. So let's, um, let's take the attendance. Um, let's see. Okay, all right, Alejandra? Is Alejandra here? No, Alejandra? Okay, all right. Um, uh, Cristina? Cristina? No here, no, no Cristina? Okay. What about Annie? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Annie. Thank you teacher. Uh, Mari? Mari? No, no Mari, okay. All right, Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Carolina. Thank you. And uh, Christy? Present. Okay, welcome, Christy. Thank you. And Herson? Herson's not here? Okay. Uh, what about Karina? Present. Okay, welcome, Karina. Linda? Linda? No, Linda, okay. Uh, Julia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Julia. Thank you. Okay, uh, Marlene? Present. Okay, welcome, Marlene. And uh, Mayra? Mayra? No, Mayra, okay. Uh, Miguel, Miguel, no Miguel, okay, and Nelson, present teacher, welcome Nelson, uh, Norma, present teacher, okay, very good, welcome Norma, okay, and Olga, present teacher, Okay, welcome, Olga. 
Rafa. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Rafa. Thank you, teacher. Senaida. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Senaida. Thank you, teacher. Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. All right, welcome Suleima. Argelia. Present teacher. All right, welcome Argelia. Nancy. Nancy. Okay. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Karen. Present teacher. Okay, welcome Karen. Thank you. Suleima Melgar. Suleima Melgar. Okay. Carla. Carla. Okay, very good. Okay. Um, okay, excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, make sure that I didn't that I didn't miss anybody. Um, I didn't hear Alejandra, Ani, Mari, Gerson, Linda, Mayra, Miguel, Nancy, Juan Carlos, Suleima, Melgar, and Carla. Teacher Ani is present. Oh. Cristina, no, no está presente. Ani present. Ah, sí, perdón. Sí, tiene razón. Ah. Espera, espera, espera. Ani, sí, ajá. Dije Ani, perdón. No, era Cristina. Sí. Era Cristina. Ok, sorry about that. Ok, va. Entonces, sí, no, no, no es, me he escapado nada. Ok, perfect. Ok, guys. Um, First of all, congratulations because um, you finished the unit two and the midterm and I, you got very good grades on the midterm. As a class, everybody did excellent. Very, very good. Um, so um, congratulations. Um, you can start working on the, the, um, the final exam um, now so that you don't have to be like rushing at the very end, okay? Um, porque, bueno, de hecho, uh, me disculpen, a veces, bueno, eh, a veces me están, as, um, normalmente me, me preguntan cosas así el último día de, de que hay que entregar y normalmente sí um, lo contesto, pero el, ayer sinceramente ya no lo logré ver algunos y ya no pude contestar porque pues me venció el sueño. <ríe> Así que soy sincera. Así que ya no, ya no pude contestarles. Por eso les digo que eh, ideal sería que lo hicieran con tiempo para que sí yo les pueda ayudar, ¿verdad? Claro, no hay nada de malo si me hacen una pregunta, pero sí, si no les puedo contestar ahí, disculpen, chicos. ¿verdad? No es, eh, pues no es mi intención así dejarlos así en, eh, ¿verdad? Colgando, ¿verdad? Sino que a veces pues a uh, pues, uh, las, eh, sí, <ríe> vence el sueño. <ríe> Así que um, por eso les digo que, que es um, para que lo hagamos ahí con tiempo y no haya ningún inconveniente. Uh, les sugiero que puedan hacer eso. Ok. Ok. So, um, ok. We are going to start with our PowerPoint. Um, Give me a moment. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. And you tell me if you can see it. Okay. Can you see my screen? No teacher. No teacher. No, no teacher. 
Okay, you will in a moment. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So we have here the vocabulary practice. That is our um, yeah. That is um what we're going to be looking at today. That's the theme. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero, and it's the intermediate one, class number sixteen. Okay, vamos ya para la, la cuarta semana. Imagine, it's going by really, really quickly. Okay, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's just, so we're almost going to finish. Okay, so uh, here we go. First, we have the creating an evaluation checklist. The, it says here in pairs, um, in pairs in your breakout room, Use the evaluation checklist in the last slide as a model to create one of your own. Evaluate a process you follow at your workplace and share your checklist with the class. Okay. Um, this, was a, this was the activity that we did yesterday at the end of the class. Did you finish or do you need more time? I need more time, teacher, please. You need more time? Yeah? Everybody needs yes. more time? Yes, I do. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. Um, Bye. Espero que todos estén acá para que los pueda poner otra vez en el breakout room. Okay, so just give me a moment. Pichita, you and me eh, driving um, eh, go walk my house. You, you're, yeah, you're, you're driving, I understand. But can you still um, talk to your partner while you're driving or? Or are you, do you feel you're going to get distracted? Thank you. Annie, can you talk to your partner while you're driving? Or do you feel that you're going to get distracted? Uh, go to uh, a house. Yes, I understand you're going to your house. But can you, can I put you in the breakout room with your partner? Can you talk? With your partner? Um, yes, teacher, es mi compañera. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Got okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to put you in the breakout room. Um, so in breakout room number one, I have Cristina and Olga. In group number two, um, I have Carolina and Suleima Rodriguez. In group number three, I have Annie uh, with, um, with Suleima, Suleima Melgar. Uh huh. Teacher. Sí. Ah, okay. Sorry, but we'll be arriving to my house in uh, maybe in five minutes. Sorry? You can say the number to my group, please. You, you can change the number of my group or my partner. To put it at the very end? Because I am... I don't arrive at at my home. Okay, that's okay. But well, can you can you talk to your partner while you're to, you're going home while you're walking or I don't know what you're doing? Yes, I I'm talking with my partner. Okay, okay, good. So uh, talk to your partner and you're gonna have time to 
to to work with them? Um, uh, just talk with my partner. Uh huh. Yeah. But finish okay. whatever you had to do. Okay. okay. Uh, by uh, Annie. Um, you are with Suleima Melgar, pero no está ella. Mm, ya vamos a ver cómo hacemos. Okay, so um, in room number four, we have Ana Cristina, which is not here, and Nancy Yvette. Okay, which, so we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens later. In group number five. Huh? Right, I think I Sí, 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 correcto. Ahí está, pero, pero la, su compañera no está. No, okay. Uh, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. eh, Cristina is not here. Um, okay. Um, Marlene is with, with Miguel Angel. Okay. And um, Nelson? Nelson? Yes. Eh, ¿Con quién estaba trabajando? Uh, with Carla Vanessa. With Carla, okay. All right. Good, thank you. Um, then we have um, Juan Carlos with Juan Carlos with Stephanie and um, Alejandra is not here but she was with Herson que tampoco está ah, pues, no hay problema uh, Mari Mari, eh, que no está. Mari, Mari, Mari. Es with Karina. Um, and Karen is with Linda. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Ana Cristina con, está con Nancy. Okay, entonces la vamos a agregar acá con Nancy. Ana Cristina. Eh, quiero ver qué más. Ah. Julia, Julia, ¿con quién estaba Julia? Eh, con nadie, no estuve ayer, teacher. Mm, ok, va, good to know. Um, Mayra, tampoco estuvo ayer Mayra. Mayra, estuvo ayer. Mayra? Ah, con, ah, Zenaida. Mayra le escribió que iba a estar yo ya. Sí, ajá. Con Zenaida. Ok. Y Olga estaba con, con Cristina. Okay. 
que se me están moviendo acá, creo que están entrando y saliendo, por eso es que, que no termino de, te, de ubicar a todos. Um, a ver. Solo denme un momentito mientras termino de entender qué está pasando acá. Ok. Marlene, you were with Miguel. Pero Miguel no está. Ah, sí, sí, sí está. Marlene y Miguel. Ok. Yes, Ok. Y Rafa, Rafa no estuvo ayer, ¿verdad? No, okay. teacher. Va, perfecto. Entonces vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Um, vamos a ver. Eh, Ani no tiene ahorita pareja, ¿verdad? Su pareja no está, así que le voy a asignar a Julia. Y... Yo no he llegado a mi casa, voy manejando. Eh, no creo que pueda trabajar con mi pareja en este momento. Pero pueden hablar, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Ajá, uh, solo, solo hablar. Ok, ok. Ajá, uh, uh, ok. Um, y Argelia. Eh, Argelia no tiene pareja, entonces le voy a poner Rafa, a Rafa. Y... Quiero ver. Y Karina la voy a mandar al grupo número uno. Ok, hoy sí. Eh, how much more minutes do you need? Seven? Seven more minutes? Is that good? Reasonable seven minutes? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. I'm going to give you seven minutes and then we're going to be presenting in front of the class. Okay. So here we Eh, Zenaida, usted sí estaba trabajando con Mayra, ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. ¿Ya terminaron? Uh, Je, I am, I, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Yo, yo sí. Momento. ¿You're finished? I am finished. Ok. Um, but, but you are, go, you are finished together with Mayra. Mayra, I don't know, teacher. Uh, last night only I speak the checklist at the work. I see. Okay. But I I am not uh, writing, but now I have the checklist. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So just practice and because you're going to be presenting in a moment. Okay, teacher. Okay. La distancia no falta. Keep, keep that, this, ah, uh, keep this, keep two meters of distance. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería keep, keep that number, number distance? Seven, number seven, keep distance. Keep distance. Uh -huh. Keep. 
Distance. Distance. Okay. Um, seven. Um, oh, no, eight. No. Uh -huh. uh, Number eight. Eight. No. Keep this time when eating. Keep this time. This is another. Uh -huh. Okay. Keep this time. <clears throat> Um, okay. Okay. How is the pronunciation of vacunarse? Vacunat. Vacunate. What is the what? What's the pronunciation? pronunciation? Uh huh. Of what? Vacunarse. Back vaccinate. Back vaccinate. 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 Yes. Vaccinate. 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 Yes. Vaccinate. Vaccinate. Okay. Vaccinate. 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 Alcohol gel number six wash hands and April uh, gel alcohol up the time the patient pays. Finish. Okay. Um, teacher, in my case, uh, I explain, uh, I explicate it. Uh, to Carolina, that is explain uh, is, uh, a financial company and not washes tongues, only apply alcohol gel. Alcohol gel. Alco alcohol. alcohol. Yes. Alcohol, alcohol gel. Alcohol. 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 It's not alcohol. Alcohol gel. Alcohol. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Awesome. Eh, ¿Con quién estamos? Ustedes estaban en un grupo de tres, ¿verdad? No. No, no, no. Oh. no. Solo estábamos nosotras oh. dos. Ah, va. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Pero terminamos, teacher, porque... Eh, no eran tan largos nuestros eh, pasos, eran cortos. Ok, good. We'll, we'll, we'll see each other in a moment. Ok. Thank you. Keep distancing between, no. Entre. Keep distancing between coworkers. No sé si es así. Teacher, se entiende. Teacher. No está. Porque sería guardar uh -huh. distancia entre compañeros al comer. Así. Keep One. distance. Keep distance. Um, between co-workers. Co At the meal time. La hora de almuerzo. Okay. A la hora de comer. Ok. Time. Keep distance. Distance between coworker. Between coworkers. Coworkers. At the meal time. Mm. Meal uh -huh. time. time. Uh-huh. At the meal time. Meal time. 
is your seven or eight. Porque yo tengo, yo tengo nueve, Karen. And the number one, yes. Uh -huh. But number uh -huh. one, wash hands uh -huh. frequently. Okay. Number two, use mask face if you leave home. Okay. Number three, vac get vaccinated. Yes. Number four. Ah, no, me equivocado. Four. No, yo me uh -huh. equivoqué. Ah, me okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Number four, use antibacterial gel. Yes. Number five, avoid Bye. crowded place. Avoid crowded place. Eight. No, ah, yo me iba comiendo una. Eight. If Tenía you hambre. Cook, <laughs> if hungry. you cook, <laughs> use a disposable tissue. Nine. Uh, no, 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 at the meal time. Uh -huh. At the meal okay. time. Yes. Vamos a only. Ay, only. Only, verdad? Yes. Okay. Keep this time. Podemos decir cuatro y cuatro. Okay. Verdad? Yes. I will go at. No time. Uh -huh. Procedures to follow for avoid the COVID. For avoid COVID-19. Yeah. Uh -huh. Estar. Me. No. 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 Huh? Ah, you, 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 you start. Uh -huh. You. <laughs> you got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Crazy. I crazy. I eat crazy. Coco. Ah, no. Estoy haciendo lo mal. Es okay. I are, ¿verdad? I are. I am. I am. No, porque es tercera persona. Ajá, tiene razón. Allá es el único que ocupa el am. Um. Sí. Yes. I am crazy, Linda. Finish, teacher. Finish? Yes. Oh, well, good. I was going to ask you that. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll okay. see you in the room in a moment. Okay. Governments are received from to players to obtain a product. Okay, class, are we ready? Are we ready? 
Yes, we're ready. Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna go in order. We're gonna start with uh, Christina, Karina, and Olga. Olga. Hola. Estaba apagando mi teléfono que acabo de llegar. Ah, okay. Wonderful. It's okay. You start. Thank you. Okay. Procedure to enter the workplace production area. Number one, first the enter out the hands watching control. Number two, we must of the temper temperature control. Number three, we go through second control, take the time. Number, number four, when the poor are not in an in your heart. Five, uh, we go down another hand machine control. Um, six, we mark enter on the scoreboard to go to all workplace. Only that teacher. Okay, very good. Bravo, excellent. Very good. Okay. Um, now let's hear Carolina and Suleyma Rodriguez. Okay, teacher. Uh, cleaning procedures in my workplace. Number one, watch his hands using soap from soap dispenser. Number two, use the soap between finger and, and on hands slowly. Number three, clean my desk chair, my boss desk wiring chairs. Number four, oh, put to shine uh, my two patents. Number five, receive patents and take temperature in April alcohol gel. Number six, wash hands, hands and apply gel alcohol. At the time, the patient pays. Finish. In my workplace, the procedures to clean in the in tray are one, please, please put your shoes in the box with the disinfectant. Two, take your temperature and three, use alcohol gel on your hands only. Okay, very good. Bravo, bravo, round of applause. Um, I just have a question, Carolina, can you read number four for me again? I didn't understand it very well. Uh, number four? Yeah, can you read it for me? Uh, a pot, shoe, chai, matu patients. What do you mean patients? Uh, what are you referring to when you say patients? Oh, yo quise decir, teacher, que, que a los pacientes se les intimaban los zapatos. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. pa patient. Not patients, patient. Uh, oh, patient. Okay. Patient. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Very good. Um, excellent. Okay. Um, okay. Let's um, continue. Um, let's see. Um, just give me a moment. Ahora quien le toca. Annie and Julia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. Uh, policy, all administrative and operational workers will follow the appropriate procedures to prevent COVID. Number one, fill all a survey on personal and family health status information to avoid contagion links. Number two, wash your hands before 
entering the company. Number three, disinfecting hands. Number four, uh, disinfecting your teeth, your shoes. Number five, take the temperature. And number six, change the mask for a new one and do not remove with, do not remove it will with other people. Only teacher. Okay. Very good. All right, round of applause. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Um, okay, let's continue. Um, and number four is uh, Christina and Nancy. Okay, teacher. And what person? for supplier payment. Number one, coder, coder are received from supplier to obtain a product. Number two, the best price, price and quality are chosen. Number three, invoice is received and delivery 50, they left to make payment. Number four, takes a check is issued and is it record in accounting. And number five, then it is delivered to the su supply. Number six, then the invoice is registered in the purchase book for taxes. Thank you, teacher. Only. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Round of applause. Very good. Okay, next um, is Miguel, but who are you working with, Miguel? Me, teacher. Oh, okay. Marlene and Miguel. All right, go for it. Um, in my case, a uh, customer service process. Uh, first, great customers. Take temperature after the held alcohol. Wait in lane. Wait in line. Have the necessary distance. Wear a mask correctly, and ask for the accessory that she or he is looking for. Choose three piece pieces to show. Recommended for the right age, and finally, wait for you to choose and close the cell. That's it. Okay, and Miguel was not going to say anything? No. No? Miguel, <laughs> you're, you're quiet today? I guess he is. He is very quiet today. Okay. All right. Um, okay, next uh, I have Carla and Nelson. Okay. Uh, our policy is all machine operator operators will follow the next procedures. Uh, Walking the designer always use protection. Nelson. Use hey. And turn on correctly the sewing machine. And then follow the swing procedure. And the last turn on the correctly the sewing machine. Okay, that's all. Okay, very good, round, round of applause, excellent. Okay, next I have Olga and Rafa. Okay. Rafa. Okay, hello everyone. It's some pleasure in my workplace. Uh, we are helmet always. 
and we're industrial choose. And we'll pass word to enter the distribution center. And mm -hmm. we'll mask, mask uh, all time anywhere. And we're uniform complete and always. And check temperature before entering and the distribution center. Okay, this is procedure for enter to distribution center. Only that. Only that teacher. Okay, very good. Bad pause. Very good. Excellent. Um, see, um, Karen and Linda. So serious, they follow for avoid COVID-19. Uh, number one, washing frequently hands. Number two, use masks if you leave home. And number three, get vaccinated. Four, use antibacterial gel. Linda? And number five, avoid crowded places. Six, if you cough or sneeze, use a disposable tissue. Seven, keep distance. Eight, keep distance between co-workers at the meal time. Only that teacher. Only teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, and finally I have Mayra and Zenaida. Okay, teacher, good evening everybody. My producer, I don't remember the procedure in my area restaurant are the first hands washing, uh, the second clean the tables, the third line up tables after Prepare missing plus. After that, prepare coffee and milk and prepare dieting removal card. And finish, start the service. Only that dishes. Okay, very good. Bravo, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Veo que Linda está bien acompañada. Ay, está, está lindo. Very cute. Siempre recibe la clase ahí. <laughs> okay. All right. Excellent, guys. Um, so, very, very good. Um, very good job uh, in writing the procedures. Now, I was also paying attention to your pronunciation, okay? And in general, as a class, what I've noticed is that we're having trouble with the letter U. When we pronounce the letter U, we're pronouncing it like we're like we're doing it in Spanish. Okay. So, for example, uh, it, we say um, production, production, and it's not production. I think I told you this before, about 80% of the time, the letter U is not pronounced like a U in Spanish. It's not like a U, it's pronounced a. Uh. Okay, so 80% of the time in English, the U is pronounced a. Uh. Okay, so for example, it's not production, it's produ uh, production. Okay, so everybody practice with me. Production. 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 Very good. Uh, procedures. 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 Distribution. 
distribution. Distribution. Distribution. Distribution. Distribution. Okay, very good. Uh, uh, temperature. 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 Okay, good. I just mentioned um, five different words that have the letter U. And um, they all sound a little different, okay? So if you notice, production from the U in production is different from purchase with per -er -er, purchase, which is also yeah. different from procedures. Jurors, procedures, jurors. Procedures. And distribution. 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 In this case, it's pronounced. Sorry? Distribute. In this case, is you. Distribute. Distribution, mm -hmm. correct, yes. Okay. okay. And temperature, the, the U, it looks, listen, temperature, okay? So it's like a temperature to the purchase, purchase, temperature, temperature. 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 So the U, the U is pronounced in very different ways in, in English, depending on the word. As you can notice, uh, I gave you five words and the four different pronunciations of the U. But, mm -hmm. but most of the time, I would say about 70, yeah, about 70% of the time, it's pronounced as a uh. uh. Okay? Just like uh. her. Sorry, sorry, just like production. Uh, production. Uh, production. Production. Very good. Production. production. Excellent. Um, and um, I know this is actually a very common word that I've heard many times some students have problems with, which is. which is patient, patient. Patient. Yeah, so it's patient. 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 Very good. So it's not pi, it's not pa, it's pay. Patient. 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 And the, notice the T is not pronounced like a T. It's not tient, it's not patient. It's patient. 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 The same thing with this word. Patience. Patience. I, I wrote in the chat. Oh. I, I'm writing the words in the chat. Patience. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Patience. Patience, patience. Patient and patience. Patience, passion. No, 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 Okay. La tiene que sonar como A, there. A, yeah, pay. Patient. Yeah, exactly. So that, that's, a tricky, that's a tricky part about English, that letters do not have a specific sound, right? Um, in English, both voc vowels and consonants will sound different depending on the word. So, you know, that's a little tricky. You have to just memorize it, just listen. Be, you have to really pay attention to the listening part, how native speakers pronounce the word, and that will help you, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. 
it's time for our next um, attendance list control. So I'm gonna do that right now. Alejandra? Alejandra? No, Alejandra? Uh, Cristina? Cristina? Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Thank you. Uh, Annie? Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Mari? Mari, Mari, Mari? No? No, Mari. Okay. Uh, Carolina? Present teacher. Okay, good, excellent. Cristina, or Christy, sorry, Christy, Christy. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh, Herson? Herson? No. Uh, Karina? Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Linda? Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, Julia? Present. Okay, very good. Marlene? Present. Excellent. Mayra? 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 Nusa Mayra? Okay. Parece que no está entonces. Miguel? Present teach. Okay. Excuse me, I'm connected. Okay, it's okay. Uh, Nelson? Present. All right, very good. Norma? Present teacher. Excellent. Olga? Present teacher. Very good, okay. Um, Olga, hágame el favor, Sasso, ahí de, de cambiar el nombre, por favor. Okay, okay. Thank you. Rafa? Present teacher. Very good. Sanaida. Present teacher. Excellent. Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Argelia. Present teacher. Excellent. Nancy. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Juan Carlos. Uh, Car Karen. Present teacher. Okay. Su uh, Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Okay, very good. And Carla. Present. Excellent. Okay. All right. Ya hoy sí, ya los tengo todos. Oh, bueno, la ma gran mayoría. Okay. So we're going to now continue. Teacher, me. Ah. Can. Se acaba de conectar. Hace como unos 15 minutos o 20, por ahí más o menos. Ah, pero es que le dejé su nombre y no, no contestó. No, no, no me escuchó. Sí, creo que no. Ah, ok, ok. Yes. All right. Ok, no problem. Um, ok. Let's continue then. Um, we are going to move to the next activity. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, I can. Okay, so we're going to be working with vocabulary here. Okay, so use the dictionary to find the meaning of the words below. So, and then write a sentence for each word. So we have word is dispenser, dirt, designated. Notice, notice this is designated, not designated so the g and the n it's first g and then the n okay so don't get confused right i don't want you to be looking for uh, for some word that doesn't exist sink and thoroughly okay so i'm going to get you to work in pairs you're going to look at the dictionary if you need to if you don't know if you already know the meaning of the word that's great but if you need to find the meaning of the words, 
uh, find the meaning of the words, and then you write a sentence for each word. Do we understand? Okay, yes. teacher. Are the instructions clear? I'm sorry, teacher. Would you mind repeat, please? Of course. Um, I can repeat, yes. So, you're going to be using a dictionary if you don't know the meaning of the words. If you know the meaning of the words, great. No worries. Don't forget. You don't need a dictionary. After, you're going to write a sentence for every word. So you're going to be using the word dispenser in the sentence, the word dirt in another sentence, the word designated in another sentence, and the word sink in another sentence, and the word thoroughly in another sentence. In total, five sentences. Thank you so much. Teacher. You're welcome. Okay, and you're going to work together with your partner. Okay, are the instructions now clear? Teacher. Uh, yes. The, um, the meeting of the war, we have a uh, right. No, you don't need to write it because if you know the meaning, you can, a better said, if you can use the word in a sentence is because you know the meaning. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Welcome. All right. Any questions? No teacher. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's, I'm going to start sharing and I'm going to get you into groups or sorry, into pairs. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, all right. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes. Okay, I think, I think in 10 minutes you can look up the words and make the five sentences. Okay? Okay. Here, okay, we, teacher. Go. Here we go. Mm. Uh, I have the cat. I know. I don't know the page. Si gusta le envío si le envío al grupo. Please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm. One moment. Don't worry. Okay. One moment. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, okay. The person, my dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> 
It it belongs to my mom. Okay, let's start. <laughs> Eh, number one, veamos, is... What does mean? Dispenser, okay? <coughs> veamos. Dispenser, dispenser. <laughs> También para dispenser, dispenser is a uh, uh, container alcohol. or uh -huh. container is uh, juice, juice is a uh, uh, the mall uh, alcohol. Gel. <laughs> Yes. Puede ser también. Sí. Uh -huh. um, container or a the, container. The basis uh -huh. that, that give or measure amount of something. Como, no sé, como las cantidades medidas de, de un uh -huh. líquido o de algo. De algo así. Sí, sí. Is, is, is. Bueno, eh, more other, other is package. A machine for holding, a dispensing something, something in small amounts. If as facial tissue, o sea, hasta, hasta para qué es un dispensador como para las toallitas, papel, paper, mm -hmm. paper cups, eh, los vasos paper. de papel, ajá, or candy, o, o dulces, o sea. Como para un montón, el dispenser es un montón de, de significados. O sea, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, is, is use, is juice, package, is, ajá, uh -huh, uh -huh. package, use. Ajá, algo que, que, que es un dispense is contents in handy, units or portion. O sea, por, por, por poquito. Uh -huh. eh, is um, dispenser is cereal in, in hotel, hotels. Uh -huh. Also. Uh -huh. is, um, okay. Reverse is not number three. Dear, there, 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 um Ah, podemos. Ah, um, podemos decir in that area, in that area, eh, for the house, there are lost a lot of dirt. 
o there, ¿cómo se? ¿Cómo es there o there? There. There, ah, ok. Ah, pues, in that area. In that area of the house. There is a lot of there. Pero qué quiere decir? Ah, eh, dice en esa área de la casa hay mucha suciedad. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, luego ya. Designer designada o designado. Podríamos poner acá. Um, eh, today, 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 hello, hello. Uh, only I I read. Where's the alcohol alcohol gel dispenser is empty? Is necessary refill. Two, okay. the um, bathroom um, is very dirty. Three, the chef designer, the designator, a white dress for to apply alcohol gel. For this sink, have a cold and hot water. And five, uh, I miss. Okay. And you? Uh, number two, uh, the year in my country, it does not exist since my president is here. And number three, uh, uh, international activities, uh, I'm a job, uh, I'm a job are the same night. I need my time. Uh, and for five. Ay, cortado. Okay, what? I need my time. Repeat uh, me. Uh, for the time. Uh, Le estoy escuchando bastante cortado. Todas, no sé si mi internet está mal, pero no lo escucho bien. Sí. Si gusta, las escribimos en el chat.
Ah, ok, ok, ok. Second, the bathroom. It's very dirty. Sorrow, Teacher, ¿cómo se diría Ministerio de Salud? Sorry, what was your question? What, what do you, no, creo, you say, what do you mean? No. How do you say? <laughs> how do you say eh, Ministerio de Salud? Oh, um, the health ministry. Mm -hmm. Health? Health ministry. Ah, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Ministry. Okay. The fear in my concern. My concern is not. Is not. Working. Uh, let me see. Okay, and first is what is <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> okay, there is yeah. a policy. <laughs> there is okay. There is um, a policy. There is a that policy that the alcohol health. Uh, in a dispenser. Alcohol dispensers has to be filled. Okay. Okay, now is dirt, right? Yes, dirt. So maybe... This is a statement. My house is very dirty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Uh, is it that that remember a, a homework? <laughs> <laughs> My house is very dirty. Okay. Uh, now is designated I designated from for the activities in my work okay I am uh -huh. I am I designated for the activities in my work. Okay. I'm the designator for the activities in my work. And now is sync. Right? Um, sync, yes. I believe. 
Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yep. Let me see. Sink. Oh. Sink. My mother is very angry when <laughs> I have because I only very, left the very the dirty dishes, dishes in the sink. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. I, yes. Mm. okay. This is not a sentence. This is a statement. <laughs> My mother is very, very angry. Angry. Because. When, no, because. Or when? Because or when? Mm. Because. Yes, because. Okay, because I left the dirty dishes on the sink. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now is the last one. Hi. Um, my, creo que sirva un, no sé si viene la mano. My, Okay, very good. So I hope you had uh, a chance there to um, compare with your, with, better said, um, complete um, the exercise or the sentences with your partner. So I'm going to ask different people to help me and give me a sentence, okay? So we'll start with uh, Julia. Julia, can you give me one for dispenser? A sentence with dispenser. Okay, teacher. Um, in Spanish, dispensador. Um, the. Ay, ¿Cómo se dice significado, teacher? Meaning? And the meaning is the matching that dispenses of or provides something regardless of the substance or product is called a dispenser. Okay, okay, sure. That's that's good. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. okay. Um, excellent. Um, let me see. Argelia, give me another one with dispenser, please. Argelia? Helia? Not there, Helia's not there. Okay. Um, let's see. Olga, Olga, please help me out with the Spencer. Okay. The Spencer? 
dispenser. The yes. meaning is the meaning is dispensador. My sentence is please use the dispenser of alcohol gel for disinfect your hands. Okay, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, that that just reminds me, as when I was going inside of the groups, um, visiting each group, I noticed that there was a common denominator that everybody was, well, the majority anyways, were pronouncing, well, this word incorrectly. How do you pronounce this word? In English. Jill. Gel. gel, exactly. Not hell, it's gel. Gel. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Um, all right, good. Um, next one we'll have, the word is dirt and we'll have um, Nancy help me. Nancy? Teacher, sorry, repeat. Uh, dirt. Dirt, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, soft, something that make something not clean, there is no don't mud or a stain on it. Okay, okay, um, good. Okay, excellent. Yes, that, that is the definition for it. Uh -huh. Very good. Um, okay, uh, Marlene, can you give me an example of how to use dirt? Yeah. Me, teacher. Uh, yes. Yes, you example for dirt. I. Reading my house is very dirty. Okay, um, in that case, you're using dirt as an adjective, and in that case, it would have to be dirty, not um, dirt, but dirty. Oh, uh, yeah. dirty. Yeah, dirty. Um, okay. Yes, dirt is um, is uh, suciedad or um, or Ay, ¿cuál es la otra? Um, polvo, polvo, polvo. Polvo, teacher. The street, the... Eh, no, the street. polvo no. Pol, polvo es dust. Eh, ¿Cómo mm. se llama? ¿Cómo se llama eh, lo que...? En la, en la tierra, en la calle de tierra. Tierra. O sea, tierra, pero tierra de... de no, arena. No, no. Donde se plantan las... Un árbol, por ejemplo. Okay? That kind. Ok. So, no. eh, puede ser... Puede ser suciedad o tierra para como tierra donde se planta, planta un árbol. Como cuando uno entra al jardín y regresa a la casa. Deja eso. Ah, ok. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. O sea, en sí, ¿Sí? El, el, la tierra para plantar donde se planta, eso es dirt también. Ah, ok. Significados. No. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, okay, designated. Um, I will have Alejandra help me with this one. Alejandra? Hello, teacher. 
Hi, help me with the designated. Designated is um, a point. Is. Is. Is appointed, appointed in a uh, point. Okay, yes, but can you give me a sentence with designated? Teacher, the sentence, uh, no logramos terminar. <laughs> okay, you didn't do the sentence, okay. Then eso nos quedamos in number three. Okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, Nelson, can you give me one for designated? Okay. <coughs> I arrived the person designated for this job. Okay, I'm the person designated for this job. Good, very good. Remember the pronunciation is designated. Designated. <laughs> very good. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, okay, next. Um, sorry, Karina, I, I didn't, um, I didn't see your, your question. Yes. Um, Karina, dirt can be also an, a synonym of <laughs> soil. Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. Um, okay. Um, all right. Sink. Um, let me see who can help me with sink. Um, um Cristina, please help me with sink. Oh, sorry, Cristi. Pardon, Cristi. Uh, sink. Uh, the sink of my house was flowing. Okay. Flooded. Yes, it was flooded. Excellent. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Ahora, Cristina. Cristina? Ana Cristina, ¿verdad, Ticha? Ajá, Ana Cristina. Can you help me? No. Huh? Sink. I, I need I need um a sentence with sink. No, that's another thing. No, you don't have a sink? The sink the sink not the sink. Huh? Sink not thing. Okay. Okay, no problem then. Uh <laughs> Okay, go for it, Sulema. Mm -hmm. This sink have a cold and hot water. Okay, very good. Okay, and the last one, thoroughly. Uh, let me see. Uh, no. Um, Rafa, thoroughly. Oh. Thoroughly. thoroughly. You should, you should check thoroughly the medicine. Okay, very nice, excellent. Okay, and <laughs> Martine, give me another one with thoroughly. Marlene. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Can you remember, please? <laughs> huh? That. What is the question? Uh, can you give me a sentence with thoroughly? Ah, uh, yes. 
um, my partner and I doing the homework thoroughly. Excellent. Very good. Very, very Thank good. You. Excellent. Okay. All right. So we have been able to make sentences with those words. That's excellent. Okay, so we're going to now continue with the next part of our, the next activity. Can you see my PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Okay, sorry. Yes, teacher. Give me a moment. This is just a moment. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> here again. Okay. So, first, we are going to discuss. First, we're going to be discussing the questions that we have up here. Okay. So, what is your daily schedule like at work? Who can tell me a little bit about their daily? their daily schedule at work. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to tell me about their, their schedule at work? Okay, then I'll have to choose. Uh, Suleyma Meltar, tell me about your daily schedule at work. What's it like? Um, eight or eight okay. Eight. Okay. okay. Uh huh. What else? What else can you tell me? Um, Eight hours at work. What else? Repeat, teacher. It's eight hours at work. And what else? What else can you tell me about your schedule? Um, eight hours or five p.m. Oh, no sé. Okay. So, but give me complete sentences. Because you're just giving me vocabulary. So you can say, I start. I start. At. At. Eight. I am. Uh -huh. Or five. PM. And finish. And finish. At. At. Um. The Monday and Friday. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, excellent. Um, Linda, help me. Uh, what, what is your daily schedule like at work, Linda? Okay. Well, the store is open from 9 a.m. to mm -hmm. Five and five and a half p.m. Five thirty. Yes. Five thirty. Yes. And yes. Okay. And our our meal time for lunch is uh, at noon. Mm. Okay. Noon, I don't know. Yes. At mediodía. Yeah, noon. It's correct. Okay. Very nice. Yes. Excellent. Okay, teacher. Very good. Okay. Now, who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? So the schedule that every staff member is going to have, who is in charge of that? Um, let's see. Miguel. Who is in charge of that, Miguel? So this one, who is in charge of organizing staff schedules 
in your company. No, this one, this question. Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your workplace? This question here. In my workplace, uh, in the workplace, in mm -hmm. control of the department and customer. Okay, but who? So, who is the person that is um, responsible for organize, organizing the staff or the personnel schedules, the time that they have to work? Who's in charge of that? Um, so very important uh, in my job. Sorry? It's so very important in my job. OK. OK, very good. OK, all right, excellent. Uh, what about uh, Norma? Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Um, department resource department. Um, ah, for all human resources. Uh, human resources. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna do this. We're gonna be practicing the conversation with a classmate, but first. I'm going to do like what I normally do. I'm going to say the conversation. Everybody with their microphone off, you're going to repeat after me. But everybody's microphone has to be off right now. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's check your schedule. Okay. For today, Jenny. Okay, let's check your schedule for today, Jenny. Okay. Uh, right for the for the time being, we're gonna do it with our microphones closed for just for the moment. Okay. All right. You have to start covering for Gladys. as the hostess today from 9 to 11 a.m. Then you can go to lunch You have to be back at 1 p.m. so that you can serve for the rest of the afternoon. Until, notice is a uh, until, not until, until 6 p.m. Will do, Ruben. Thanks for the reminder. Okay. All right, please write in the chat vocabulary that you're not sure the pronunciation in the chat. If you're still not sure about that pronunciation, you can write it in the chat.
that it? Only that? Okay, all right. Now you can open up your microphones because I want to hear everybody. Okay, here we go. Covering. 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 Until. 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 Reminder. Reminder. You're welcome. Okay. All right. What about vocabulary that you're not sure the meaning? Write in the chat if there is some vocabulary that you're not sure about the meaning. You know all the words? No, no questions about the, the meaning? Oh, okay. Only that? Okay, so that is, is that it? Okay, all right, covering, covering. Uh, like when you, you cover, like you can cover your head, okay? Like this, cover your head, okay? So covering means to um, to put something over another thing um, so that it has no deficiency. So in this case, start covering for Gladys means that you are going to take Gladys's schedule so that there is always somebody in that role. So how do you say covering in Spanish? Cubriendo. 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 Good, okay. And what about this? How do you say this? Hostess, what is a hostess? When you go to a restaurant, for example, there is somebody that, that greets you at the, at the entrance of the, of the restaurant, they say, Come, come with me. I will show you to your table. That is the hostess. Ah, okay. In Spanish, how do you say hostess? Anfitriona. Anfitrión. Anfitrión o anfitrión. In this case, it would be anfitriona. Host, mm -hmm. solo host is anfitrión. Host. Hostess okay. is anfitriona. Okay. Okay? Okay. Until, it means that you stop an activity 
when that time comes. So for the rest of the afternoon until, so stopping at 6 p.m. How do you say Hasta. until in Spanish? Hasta. 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 Very good. Hasta. Okay. And reminder. Reminder means to let somebody remember. Recordar. Okay. Recordatorio. Uh -huh. Recordatorio. Exactly. Recordatorio. Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So I think that's it. So what we're going to do um, in the next few minutes, just a bit of time. Uh, oh, wait a second. Actually, um, no, I'm going to actually go to this one first. We're going to look at the vocabulary. It says here, um, match the names of the staff members to the right description. So we have the executive chef, server, the host or the hostess, the kitchen manager, and the cashier. Here are the description of their job. Match the people with their jobs. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, tomorrow. Okay, are we ready? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, yes. um, so you're gonna help me with this. You're gonna help me write the answers, okay? Um, so a person handling payments in a restaurant, who is that? Cashier. 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 Very good, it's the cashier. The cashier is the one that you give the money to for your at uh, your for the food that you bought at the or the food that you ate at the restaurant. 
uh, a person in charge of creating menus, managing kitchen staff, and food standards. Who's that? Executive chef. Executive. Very good. Executive chef. Not chef, uh, not chef, it's chef. We say chef. 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 Okay, executive. Okay, very good. Okay, next we have a person who hires staff, purchases food, and makes sure everyone is trained. Who is that? Servant. Mm -hmm. Kitchen, kitchen manager. manager. Kitchen manager. That's right, the kitchen mm -hmm. manager. Very good. And uh, a waiter. A waiter. And a waiter. then we have a waiter, or waitress who attends cus customers with food and drinks. Server. 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 Good. That's server. And finally, a <laughs> or greet the host. 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 Very good. A person who greets arriving guests, welcomes them into the restaurant and seats them is either the host for a man or the hostess for a woman. All right. Question? Any questions that you guys have? No? Okay. All right. In that case, we're going to stop sharing. And um, I'm going to take attendance. Okay. So um, like I always tell you, please uh, make sure that your microphone is ready so that we can just open the microphone and answer. Okay. So here we go. Alejandra? Present teacher. Uh, Cristina? Present. Good. Annie? Present. Uh, Mari? Mari? Uh, Carolina? Present. Uh, Christy? Present. Gerson? Gerson? Uh, Karina? Present. Uh, Linda? Present. Mari? Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Julia? Present. Um, good. Uh, Marlene? Present. Mayra? Mayra? Miguel? Present. Present. Very good. Nelson? Present. Uh, Norma? Present teacher. Olga? Present teacher. No, Gorga Fango, solo está comiendo lo de Nico. Ronco. Zenaida? Present teacher. Leima Rodriguez? Present teacher. Argelia? Present teacher. Nancy? Present teacher. Okay. Juan Carlos. Karen. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Suleyma Melgar. Present teacher. And Carla. Present. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, guys, um, just a reminder that today is Olga's turn. So Olga, you can stay um, for our one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. Everybody else, um, take care and don't forget to start practicing, start practicing for um, the platform, especially for the final exam. Okay, que es el que tiene la mayor ponderación, así que ojo con eso. Okay, that's it, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, when is my personal session? I don't remember. Uh, yours will be. Hoy es martes. Yours will be Thursday. 
Thursday. So tomorrow is Rafa, uh, Thursday is Senaida, and Friday of uh, this week will be Sulema Rodriguez. Thank you so much, teacher. Oh, Have a nice night. Thank you, you too. Take care. See you tomorrow. Have a nice, everyone. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. I'm blessing, teacher. Thank you, likewise. Okay, hola, Olga. Hola, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Pues gracias a Dios, bien aquí ya en casita, después de un cansado día de trabajo y vine por el tráfico horrible. Oh, wow. Yo transito todos los días los chorros y había un accidente, así que estuve de locos. Le tocó pesado, pues. Uh -huh. Ay, que lo lamento. Pero bueno, lo importante es que ya está en casita, ¿verdad? Exacto, ya descansando un poquito. Sí, está bien, está bien. ¿Y a qué hora entra? A las ocho. A las ocho. Sí, sí, a las ocho. Bueno, ¿y, y, y cuánto, cuánto de camino? Ahora que había tráfico hice tres horas y media. Wow. Eh, Sí, salí a las cinco y cuarto y vine como a las ocho cuarenta, por ahí. ¿Y a dónde es que, que vive usted? Yo vivo cerca del poliedro. El problema es el tráfico, no es ni la distancia, uh -huh. es el tráfico, porque yo vivo antes de llegar a Lourdes. Uh -huh. Pero el tráfico es espantoso. Wow. Que lo lamento. Mm, bueno. Gracias. Sí, bueno. Lo bueno es que ya, ya estamos aquí y ya estamos en casita para descansar, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Y cuénteme, Olga, ¿qué puedo, ¿en qué puedo ayudarle el día de hoy? Vaya, mi dificultad es, en eso ya me mandó ayuda porque el link que mandó la vez pasada es bien útil en el aspecto que ayuda a practicar tanto la pronunciación como la escritura. A mí se me dificulta bastante expresar lo que quiero decir. A veces tengo la idea, pero las palabras no, no ocurren como deben de ser. Entonces en eso sí siento un poquito como de desventaja por el nivel en que estamos, aunque pues sí, lo vamos empezando, pero quizás soy muy exigente conmigo y siento que me hace falta. Uh -huh. Me hace falta fluidez. Entonces ahí creo que de su parte está haciendo todo lo posible. Quizás ahí es de mi parte. Como practicar, practicar, practicar. Uh -huh. Sí, Ajá. perder la pena. Creo que esa es la parte más difícil. Perder uh -huh. la pena. ¿Verdad? Porque estamos, nos sentimos como retraídos, que y se lo digo mal, se lo pronuncio mal, uh -huh. y así se ríen de mí, y si sí, me regañan porque dice, por usted ya debería saber eso, etcétera, etcétera, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eso creo que es la parte, eh, quizás que eh, es más el reto, ¿verdad? Eh, sí. Pero acuérdense de que aquí todos estamos aprendiendo, no hay, no hay nadie en el grupo que no cometa errores, porque obvio estamos en un nivel todavía donde no sabemos todo. Sí. Entonces, eh, no se preocupe. Si comete un error, pues excelente. Bienvenido a ese error porque nos ayudan a, a poder progresar y para que después ya no cometamos ese error, ¿verdad? Sí. Así que, eh, y hay que simplemente lanzarse al agua. ¿Tiene usted familiares, amigos, vecinos, compañeros de trabajo que hablan, eh, que hablan inglés? Tengo mis hermanos y eh, una de mis hermanas es licenciada en lenguas. Mm. Habla bien el, el inglés, el coreano, está aprendiendo mandarín. Wow. Y pues, el español nativo y eh, mis hermanos que viven en Estados Unidos hablan el inglés. En diciembre vino mi sobrina, que ella es nacida allá. Uh -huh. 
Y de hecho yo a ella no le entendía porque habla de la misma manera que usted, bien rápido. Entonces ella en algunas, ella, ella habla bastante español, pero en algunas ocasiones hablaba inglés. Ajá. Y yo quería, yo quería entenderle, pero partes le entendía y otras no, pero es porque lo hablan tan fluido para nosotros, ¿verdad? Que estamos aprendiendo, uh -huh. que no, yo no alcanzaba a entender el 100%, pero... Sí siento que he avanzado, teacher, porque cuando empecé con usted, casi no entendía, entendía bien poco. Ya. Pero, pero ahora siento que entiendo quizás un 50% de lo que dice. Okay. Así que no me, no me siento tan mal, siento que voy aprendiendo, entonces Mira, ahí sí. Y ahorita Ajá. estamos a la mitad del curso, ¿verdad? Entonces... Si estamos al 50%, significa que al final del curso vamos a estar casi al 100. <risa> Esta es la meta. <risa> no, pero si, o sea, si no le entiendo todo, está bien, el problema, ¿verdad? Lo importante es seguir avanzando, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, gracias. Gracias. Ahí estamos siempre con esfuerzo, con cansancio, pero no nos damos por vencidos. Eso, y va a triunfar, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque el, la persona que, o sea, el, el, el que realmente quiere, Quiere lograr o lo hace, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, pero tiene que tener esa motivación para saber de que sí se puede y se va a lograr, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Pero, um, pero necesita también poner su parte, um, sacrificios, ¿verdad? Y es, este, por ejemplo, es un sacrificio. Estar, eh, imagínese, usted viene cansada de un casi, casi tres horas, eh, bueno, más de verdad, tres horas. Eh, en, el, en el transporte público, ¿verdad? Ah, eso cansa, eso cansa bastante. Y usted lo que, o sea, yo que usted, yo lo primero que haría es mejor me tiro al sillón y quizás me duermo ahí, ¿verdad? Ah, entonces, sí, sí, sí. en varias ocasiones he sentido ese, ese deseo, sin embargo, ahí está mi esposo, vení, te voy a conectar la sesión y yo, ahí, ahí voy apenas, pero... Casi siempre él es el que me anda conectando la sesión. Excelente. Está pendiente de la hora y todo. Por eso, por sí. eso fueron un equipo. Sí, así es. Ah. Así que ahí tengo la parte complementaria. Excelente. La, la, la ah. felicito que también se deja llevar, ¿verdad? Y, y felicítemelo a él, que, sí. que también la motiva, ¿verdad? Eso, eso es muy bueno. Sí, gracias. Yo le digo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Excelente. Y qué bueno que, que tiene a alguien que, que, que le esté ahí motivando, ¿verdad? Eh, eso, eso también ayuda. Pero algo muy importante es tener muy claro por qué usted está haciendo esto. Entonces, pregúntese, que, ¿cuál es mi motivación? ¿Por qué quiero aprender inglés? Y... Fíjese que yo me metí a, a este curso de Insafor porque... Yo tengo una niña de 12 años uh -huh. y ella estudia su séptimo grado. Uh -huh. Entonces la idea es trabajar desde casa, ya no ir al lugar de trabajo, pero para trabajar de casa, la mayoría de trabajos solicitan inglés. Entonces ah. ese, es, ese es un objetivo bien claro que tengo, tal vez... Más adelante, primero Dios, se pueda trabajar desde casa ya, ya teniendo un poquito de avance en inglés. Excelente, um, sí, muy bien. Y quien, eh, imagínese ahorrarse que son seis horas de su vida, sí. todos los días que, que pasa sí. en el transporte. De wow. mañana y de noche. Sí, sí. sí imagínese. Wow, y prácticamente Ajá. seis horas casi, bueno, un, un horario de, de, tiempo, de, de medio tiempo, ¿verdad? De medio tiempo, es correcto. Sí, entonces merece, o sea, sí. vale la pena. Vale la pena. Sí. Así que sí, sí, recuérdese de eso. Recuérdese de eso de que uh, su motivación es trabajar de este caso, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Entonces, y wow, o sea, se va a ahorrar seis horas. Eso vale la pena. Si usted se va a ahorrar seis horas con un sacrificio de dos horitas, ¿verdad? Ya la hizo. ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, sí. acuérdese de eso. Pues dos horitas que tiene que sacrificar para después ahorrarse seis horas. 
Sí, ese es mi objetivo. Excelente. Ajá. Ok, Gracias. excelente. ¿Alguna otra cosa más que yo le pueda ayudar a, a Olga? Algo que, que, que necesite, no sé, más práctico o algo así. Eh, sería nada más el speak, speak, speak. Hablar, hablar, hablar. Eh, ajá, hablar. Ok, muy bien. Ajá. Pero ajá, eso es en clase, quizás participar más. Uh -huh. Y yo pues, de mi parte leer y, y escuchar más inglés. Ok, excelente, uh -huh. excelente. Sí. Ah, bueno, entonces así quedamos. Um, y pues um, cualquier cosita, no dude en llamarme. Uh, bueno, en, en ponerme mensajito, ¿verdad? Y yo con gusto le, le contesto cualquier duda que usted tiene. ¿Ok? Le agradezco mucho. Sí. Bye. Ok, excelente. Puede ser mucho entonces, Olga. Gracias, igual, teacher. Pase feliz noche y la veo mañana, primero Dios. Ok, excelente. Hasta luego. Hasta luego.